Welcome back to the morning blend. Well, Earth Day is just over a week away, but some families in Brookfield and Waukesha are already in the holiday spirit, so to speak. Yeah, they recently participated in a Biggest Loser program of sorts with the Waukesha County Recycling. Dustin Nolan is a recycling specialist with them, and he joins us now with ways your family can be more Earth friendly. Thanks for being here, Dustin. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Nice yeah. to have you. We all want to be more Earth friendly, right? But sometimes we think just doing the basics of throwing a water bottle away or not using water bottles as much is as much as we should do, but there's a lot more. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have found that families do a lot of the basic stuff, or at least they're aware of the basic stuff, but there, there is more to go to go greener, if you will. And uh, we had some families in Brookfield, Waukesha, recently do a challenge to prove it. And what did you find? Because there were 135 families yeah. in that area. How well did they do? And what do you think it was that made certain families very successful? Yeah, these families did great. Um, and we've, we've actually ran this challenge several times and over the course of four or five years. And uh, it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And families keep on doing really well. Uh, this group of families in one month reduced their trash 20% and increased their recycling 13%, um, which is a huge difference. And mm -hmm. we figured out that if they actually did that for an entire year instead of just one month, they'd throw 30,000 less pounds of trash to the landfill. Whoa. Wow. And 13,000 more pounds of recycling uh, to the recycling Whoa. center. Yeah. That's significant. And one of the pictures we kind of saw there is the first thing you want to talk about. It's something that's very inexpensive. You mentioned people can purchase something like this from you for $60. This is a composter. Yeah. How does it work? Yeah, exactly. So the families had to think outside the box a little bit. If can they you haven't already, it? yeah. Um, how to reduce their waste. And home composting is becoming one of the biggest uh, waves that are, that's out there. So this is just a basic barrel. Mm -hmm. It's empty through the bottom. There, it just sits in your backyard. Mm -hmm. And essentially what you're doing is you're throwing things in here that you'd normally throw in the trash. And starting with like food scrap stuff. Okay, so, so vegetable shreds sure. or like cores of things. Yeah, okay. apple cores, banana peels, whatever. You mix that in with some yard waste stuff. So when you know the leaves fall or you have twigs or branches or whatever, mix that all in, and uh, what's going to happen is, because it's sitting in your backyard, worms or other little bugs are going to come on up and, and chomp away at it, and it's going to make this compost soil, which then you can use for all sorts of things. Oh, so, so really what, what ends up in there you can use on a garden Absolutely. or something like that? Yeah, yeah, you can use it in the garden, or you could use it even as just over your yard. Um, if, you huh. don't, if you're not a gardener, you can certainly make use of it, too. I saw the lid says no bones, fish, <laughs> or meat. Yeah, that's true. There's certain things you want to avoid. You don't want to attract vermin um, okay. if you can, especially if you live in the suburbs somewhere. Um, so yeah, that would be something that'd be in your backyard and you want to just keep it kind of contained. Okay. okay, so what about people who don't have a house? Yeah, great question. Um, if you don't have a backyard, you can still compost and we call this a verma composting with a worm bin um, in your house. So we have a sample oh. here of a worm bin and there are a lot of critters in there. There's about a thousand worms in here, guys. Whoa. Um, which is they pretty can't cool. get out, can they? Nope, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're in there to stay. They wouldn't um, want to because they got all that food in there. Yeah, right, they're that, happy. That's a great point. Um, they actually will stay and, and just be contained if you keep feeding them right with your food scrap stuff and also um, you know, uh, pl plants that aren't making it in your house or whatever. And then Do they once get again, fat? The worms? Not really, no. Oh, okay. uh, they can eat about a uh, thousand worms can eat about a pound a day. Whoa! So, so you could put the same things in here if you were in an apartment somewhere? Yeah, essentially, yeah. You, you just give them the same kind of food scraps, balance it out so it's not always the same orange peels. You know, okay. give it, give them eggshells, etc. All that okay, stuff. Okay, we got so. a lot of good stuff to say, yeah. so we're going sure. to uh, have to move really fast through this last yeah, stuff. So sure. just hit it. Yeah, so, so what we really ask these families to do is look at what do you use daily that you could, that you throw away in the garbage that you could swap out. Okay. So some of this stuff is stuff we see every day. Um, starting with our lunch uh, container. Whether okay, you, leave you this stuff down lunch. so the, yeah. the camera guy oh, can get sure. a picture of it. Okay, absolutely. so a lunch bag is something kids yeah, throw away. Absolutely. Instead so, of that, you could bring a lunch box. Exactly, so simple. So we have like kids' lunch boxes, um, mm -hmm. you know, with, with uh, containers inside so um, they can put their food in. This is my lunch bag today, and mm -hmm. I use uh, Tupperware the same. So okay. it, it's not challenging to do this. What are you having for lunch? Well, I'm going to have a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> so um, that's going to be great. We all know water okay. bottles are a horrible thing to use. Yeah, well, you know, it's 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 sometimes that it's out of necessity, but we want to try to avoid it if we can and just use the regular reusable to fill it up. Yeah, okay. um, I like that. Yeah. Coffee cups, we're guilty great. of using. Both styrofoam, of <laughs> very guilty. Yep. Our we producer is to constantly use telling us. When you're in the office or, or at home, and then when you're on the go, using the re reusables as well is obviously mm -hmm. kind of
kind of a no-brainer. Plastic okay. bags. Yeah, people are still getting a lot of these at the stores, and we want to try to remind people that the reusable shopping bags are, are great alternatives. Um, you know, these things are obviously very durable, and there's lots of different styles of them, so you could, you know, just remember to bring them with you. A lot of people have them, but you got to remember to take them. And you can wash them. Yeah, absolutely. Question, if you use plastic bags from the grocery store for things like recycling or litter, is that a good use or still a bad use? Well, it's, if you're going to get the plastic bags in the first place, yeah, reuse them. I mean, okay. a lot of people use them as trash bags, and that's okay. okay. Um, it's just I think a lot of folks end up with more than they need. And just throw them. Yeah. Um, paper towels instead yeah. use a sponge or dish rag. Exactly. Um, that's what we're getting at here. Is, is This is a trash thing. After you use it, this is not. So why? Mm -hmm. This is actually just as convenient. And these you throw away too. Paper yep. plates. Don't plastic, use them. Um, yeah. Silverware. The families told us that one of the biggest challenges for waste is when they have parties, like a kid's birthday party. Yep. So let's try to think about using instead of the disposables, reusables, washables, and uh, try to go about that way. You instead. probably end up spending less too if you invest yeah. in these plastics. Yeah, mm -hmm. over time, th those are a great answer. We're out of time. Is there any last thing that you think is really important? Yeah, you know, I, I just think that rem remembering that everything we throw away makes, uh, or everything we do makes an impact, and the trash makes an impact going to a landfill, and recycling is a positive alternative to that. Um, and we certainly want to invite people to come out. Um, we, we have um, our Earth Day open house coming up um, on April 20th at the recycling facility in Waukesha. And mm -hmm. we'd, we'd invite anybody to come and, and talk about these things some more and see it uh, with their own eyes. It's great. Yeah, here's the open house information for the Waukesha County Recycling Center for Earth Day celebration. It's an open house on Prairie Avenue in Waukesha. You can find more by going to the website waukeshacounty.gov slash recycling. Thanks so much for being here, Dustin. Thanks for having me. Great information it. and suggestions. Mm -hmm.